Adam here at Atour FCB and welcome to the quarterfinal stage of the World Cup in 2022. But actually tonight, history has repeated itself because back in 2014, when these two nations met, it went all the way to penalties. Tonight, it happened again. And once again, Argentina. They have made it through, they have fought, they have battled. Emmy Martinez, he did it in Copa America. He's done it again tonight. Massive saves in massive moments. And what about that man? Lionel Messi, a key part of the first goal, stuck away his penalty as well in the second half and then held his nerve and led his team over the line and to the semi-final. We're going to be talking all about this crazy game. So come on. And let's do it. But if we do, first of all, start with the lineups from the two teams. And it feels like an awful long time ago now that we received this team news. But here from Louis Van Gaal, there wasn't a great deal of surprise there in his selection. I think the one player that I'd look at today, though, is Gakpo. I don't really feel as though you get the best out of him. You know, we've seen him so far at the World Cup doing so, so well as the main forward there, getting on the end of things, poaching inside of the area. Today, he was more withdrawn and we didn't see the same impact today from Cody Gakpo for the Netherlands and on the side of Argentina Lionel Scaloni did match up the Netherlands like for like in terms of the shape it was three at the back there Lissandro Martinez starting with Otamendi and as well Christian Romero and to be honest right the way through most of that first half it did have that feel about it that the two teams were just cancelling each other out that they were matching each other there wasn't much space to be found there wasn't too many chances happening but on 35 minutes well Lionel Messi happened because as he picks up the ball there's no danger he's nowhere near the goal there are so many Dutch players there ahead of him and like I say there's no danger there's nothing really on but he gets his head down and he starts driving at the Netherlands and then players come out to meet him spaces then appear but the pass that he makes nobody makes that nobody should be able to make that pass he doesn't even look at Molina he's not looking at him he is looking in the opposite direction it's like he can sense the run he knew it was happening he knew where he was and then he pulls it out the bag what a ball that is that is outrageous that is unreal from Messi but what about Molina too? Because as good as the pass was, as magical as the assist was, Molina does brilliantly. This is a fullback here getting into the box. His first touch is great. And then the finish, it's magic. Outside of the foot, so calm, so composed in front of goal. And that was a huge moment in the game there to give Argentina the lead, to put them ahead in this game. And I would like to say that they never looked back, that they went on from here and they went from strength to strength and they always looked confident. But as you well know... The game didn't really go that way. Because in the second half, Louis van Gaal did actually elect to make a number of changes. And it was also interesting to see a different shape from the Netherlands there. They certainly came out a lot more. They actually went forward and maybe committed too many players at times into attacking areas. Gakpo then was over to the left-hand side. Luke de Jong, a man we know and certainly love very much, came on to lead their line. And it was Berghaus there off to the right-hand side. But with that change in shape from the Netherlands, they did leave more spaces. And there was real opportunities for Argentina to add to their lead. You can see this one here. Messi plays it through the Netherlands. Their lovely little pass round the corner. Argentina there with men in great areas. Lots of space for them. It only needs a better final ball into Rodrigo de Paul. And that could have easily been 2-0 there. And then Messi had a free kick from a dangerous area. He'd won it himself. Great strike on goal here. Hits it with real venom towards the far post. And it's a whisker away. You even heard the net ripple from that free kick there from Messi. But Argentina couldn't quite get the second until this happened here. Acuna brought down in the area and this for me is a really lazy tackle from Dumfries. You're in a World Cup quarter-final, everything on the line, he just swipes Acuna's legs away. There's no need to do it. It's a clear and obvious penalty. Even Mattia Lajos couldn't miss that one and then I thought it was interesting because there's quite clearly a few words there going on between Nopp at the goalkeeper from the Netherlands and Lionel Messi, the two of them there, just getting into the mind games. You know, the goalkeeper trying to put Messi off but there was no chance of that because even despite all of the pressure even despite their Messi missing a penalty of course at this World Cup he looks straight into Noppet's eyes he runs up very slowly to the ball but he's so calm he's so confident in what he's going to do and it's really well dispatched there to the right hand side Nopper doesn't know where to go and Argentina at that point had a 2-0 lead and looked comfortable 
However, with seven minutes to go in normal time, it was another sub there that got the Netherlands back in this game. Weghorst there with a really good header past Emmy Martinez. And then, well, the nerves came in for Argentina. For me, they sat off way, way too much there, inviting pressure on them. The Netherlands were going forward, really, really making them work hard. They weren't keeping the ball, Argentina. And you can see right here, there's a volley that went just past the post, could have easily levelled it up there. And then, and there was a lot of tension in this game, wasn't there? there was a real needle I think between the two teams you can see here Paredes volleys a ball straight into the Netherlands dugout I mean that was an interesting choice there the Netherlands weren't happy with that and you can understand it and then the players sort of well they all went for each other you know it was very very ugly scenes you know there was people pushing each other over lots of yellow cards one man that was loving all this Lahaz he's like this is my birthday I love things like this yellow card for you yellow card for you but with all of this going on of course still adding the time on and then we were in to the 10th minute of stoppage time 100th minute of the game game and Argentina give away a foul. It's a cheap foul. It's a silly free kick, like I say, to give away in this kind of moment. And everybody was on the edge of their seat, wondering if the Netherlands could do something in the last seconds of the game. And they did, because they pick out Weghorst from a short free kick. Nobody was expecting it. Argentina here should have somebody on him. He's all on his own to receive the ball. One touch then, he's got a clear sight on goal, and he buries it. It is brilliantly worked from the Netherlands. It's a wonderful little move there, brilliantly finished. But Argentina at that point, they were 2-0 up, they were cruising, they thought they were in the semi-final, but suddenly... It was time for extra time. From there, we had yet more frustration. Matteo Lajos actually booking anybody that looked at him in this game. Messi even got a yellow card there, and he was quite angry as well with Lajos. He knows exactly what he's like. And even at the end of normal time there, both the teams sort of going for each other in the break. There was a lot of tension and a lot of real emotion out there on the field today. And in extra time, I thought Argentina really banked back well. You know, they really did keep themselves focused on the pitch. There was a great chance for Lataro Martinez cut back to him there. It was blocked goal bound by Virgil van Dijk. Di Maria nearly scored from a corner there. Noppert had to stay aware to tip one over the bar. And then for Argentina this time, in the very final seconds of extra time, it was Enzo Fernandez bouncing nicely on the edge of the box, takes it on. Wonderful hit, smacks the post. Argentina inches away, seconds away, but they had to go to penalties. It had to be decided on penalty kicks, this game was about to be decided in the most dramatic way of all. We said it in the preview, you know, this could happen. There was a real chance today that it was going to go all the way, and it did. Now, Van Dijk kicked us off with a miss there. Emmy Martinez with the save. And I think Emmy Martinez, guys, in this penalty shootout, he was wonderful. We saw it in Copper America. He just has that confidence. You know, when you step up to take a penalty against him, you've got him smiling at you, laughing at you, almost saying... I've got this. I'm not worried. You are either going to miss or I'm going to stop this. And he did it again today. Saving there from Van Dijk. Brilliant save to deny Berghuis. And what about Messi as well? Stepping up there. Not fifth, not fourth, but first. Best penalty taker. Leading his team by example. Saying, OK, guys, this is how it's done. He steps up. And it's always difficult because Messi had already taken a penalty. Not put there. Dive the same way that Messi put his first penalty. But Messi this time changed. He slipped it down the middle. So calm again. Composed in the big moments. And that was a massive one there. Paredes then went on to score for Argentina. Montiel as well. There was a miss though for Enzo Fernandez when he could have won it. And then it all came down in the end to Lataro Martinez to seal their place in the semi-final. And he delivered. I think there were some nerves. You know, Lataro has not had a good tournament. He's not been great in front of goal. A few nerves certainly there would have been. But he dispatched that one well. And Argentina in the end, guys, I don't think you could begrudge them this win at all. I think, you know, in normal time, they had it. It was there for them. They should have, to be honest, won this game in 90 minutes. You've got to give huge credit as well to the Netherlands. They fought back. They never gave up. Coming from two goals down the way they did, that has to be applauded. They made this a really historic kind of game. You know, an emphatic World Cup match that it was. But I think Argentina in the end, they are the team here that really look like the ones who are trying to win, going all out, really putting it on the line. And they are deserved semi-finalists where they will play 
Croatia. It's not going to be Brazil. Massive shock earlier on today, guys. Croatia beating Brazil also on penalties. What a day we've had, guys. What a day we've had with the World Cup here. Going down to the last kicks of the game. It's extraordinary. It is drama-filled. And like I say now, Argentina have a massive opportunity against Croatia. They're no pushovers, though. Make no mistake about that. They are so experienced. They are so full of belief. And they will not give up. That is going to be a massive game. And of course, tomorrow, we have the remainder there of the quarter-final matches to come. I do feel tonight for Frankie de Jong, of course, for Memphis Depay, our Barca players who are on the losing side in the end for the Netherlands. But what a fight they gave. What a fight they all put up there. They can be proud of their performances and the Netherlands bowing out just about tonight with Argentina winning. Let me know your feelings and your thoughts down below. Messi is into the semi-final. And Argentina, who's to say this couldn't be their year? I will see you soon. I hope you enjoyed the game and indeed the video. But until next time, as always, it's the World Cup.